Have you ever wondered why certain chapters of history are kept in the shadows? What if we told you there's a secret about black wealth that schools don't want you to know? In the early 20th century, a thriving community of black entrepreneurs defied the odds and created something truly extraordinary. It was a place known as Black Wall Street, a thriving epicenter of black wealth in the heart of Tulsa, Oklahoma. But what happened next was nothing short of shocking. Join us on a revealing journey as we uncover a remarkable story that history books have often overlooked. A little over a century ago, a remarkable chapter in American history saw a tragic conclusion. Back in the early 1900s, Tulsa, Oklahoma's Greenwood District, was a thriving hub of black-owned businesses that spanned over 35 city blocks. It was often affectionately dubbed Black Wall Street. This vibrant community was founded by descendants of enslaved individuals and served as a haven for African Americans looking to escape the harsh realities of segregation and violence in the Jim Crow South. Within Greenwood, you'd find a range of professionals, including doctors, lawyers, and savvy entrepreneurs. What set this place apart was its commitment to keeping money within its community. Black dollars circulated here as residents earned and spent their money almost entirely within the district. This unique economic ecosystem made Greenwood one of the most prosperous African-American enclaves in the United States. The story begins in the 1830s when African-Americans first migrated to Oklahoma. Many of them were previously enslaved by Native American tribes, who themselves were forced to relocate due to the Indian Removal Act under President Andrew Jackson. After the Civil War and the 13th Amendment, which abolished slavery, these individuals were granted land to start anew. One notable figure in this narrative is Edward P. McCabe, a former Kansas state auditor and politician. He was a booster for African-American migration to the Oklahoma Territory with a grand vision of creating an all-black state. The success of Greenwood began with O.W. Gurley, a pioneering settler who purchased 40 acres of land in Tulsa in 1905. He set up shop with the People's Grocery Store and a rooming house, and these became the cornerstones of a flourishing entrepreneurial scene in the district. Soon Greenwood was bustling with restaurants, hotels, billiard halls, tailor shops, and more, all geared towards serving the black community. Notable figures like J.B. Stratford, John and Lula Williams, and Simon Barry played crucial roles in Greenwood's prosperity. Stratford, a lawyer, built the opulent Stratford Hotel, a luxurious destination for black visitors. The Williamses ran a successful auto repair garage and the famous Williams Dreamland Theater, a cultural hub. Simon Barry's Jitney service catered to Greenwood's black residents, as they were often barred from using white taxi services. He even ventured into owning hotels and starting an airline charter service. Despite its success, Greenwood was not without challenges. Racial tensions simmered and resentment grew among some white residents who were envious of the district's prosperity. The breaking point came when allegations arose regarding a black man, Dick Rowland, and a white woman, Sarah Page, in an elevator encounter. On May 31, 1921, Tensions erupted into violence as a white mob descended upon the Greenwood district, looting and setting fire to homes and businesses. Officially, 36 people lost their lives, but estimates suggest that the actual number could be much higher. The aftermath was devastating, but remarkably, Greenwood residents embarked on the arduous journey of rebuilding their lives and businesses. By 1942, Greenwood was once again home to over 200 black-owned businesses. However, the events of the massacre remained largely hidden from the public eye for decades. It wasn't until the 1970s that scholars began delving into the Tulsa Race Massacre, and in 2001 an official report shed light on the extent of the destruction. Efforts to educate about this dark chapter in American history started in earnest later on. Today, there are ongoing initiatives to remember and address the legacy of the Tulsa Race Massacre. In 2021, the 100th anniversary of the massacre, there were calls for reparations and a deeper acknowledgement of the historical trauma. These include searches for mass graves, lawsuits seeking reparations, and programs aimed at supporting black entrepreneurship in the area. The story of Black Wall Street and the Tulsa Race Massacre is a poignant reminder of the systemic racism woven into America's history. Yet, it also celebrates the resilience and strength of the Greenwood community and the power of black entrepreneurship and self-sufficiency.